All right, then, let's head out. Well, let's start looking for the commander. We should split up and look for him. I'll let you know as soon as I find him. Someone tells me you're not going to find him. <laughs> All right, let's have a look around this place. That girl named Ludi at the clinic refuses to talk at all. I was being nice and said I'd play with her. She's such a brat. Maybe she just doesn't like you. This colony was once a Realia nursery. After the war, the pier was remodeled into a dock. Many refugees came flooding in, but because it's a favorable location. Now it's practically treated like a den of outlaws. Oh boy. Talk to me. Parts shop. Talk to me, okay. I'll talk. I love talking. Welcome. I have everything from AGWS bean cannons to toilet paper. Okay. There's nothing you can't get here. What do you need? Tuning. Right. That is a yep, decent upgrade. Uh, how much do I have? Oh, not much. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that. And yes. Grant. No generators. Also. Looks about the same, yeah. This is gonna be <laughs> almost all of our money. Okay, yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing else here I wanted to buy. Okay, okay. New weapon from Momo. Oh, Gloss of Chaos. Okay. Probably could do with those, yeah. But unfortunately, I am poor, so, you know. We make do. Don't suppose I have anything decent to sell, do I? And there's stuff at 50 each, it's not much. Uh, scrap iron. That sells a bit. <laughs> okay. T -t Technically, yes, a bit. Not much. Uh, these sell for a lot, but I don't really want to sell those. Hmm. I can get that at least. And. I need to get a couple of those. And that's for Ziggy. You know what? Yeah. Sure. <sighs> Look forward to your next visit. I will probably be back. Okay. Fiber suit. Good replace with a stylish armor. Yeah, can't change her weapon, I guess. She's uh, stuck with that. Go from the space gloves to the navy gloves. Sure. And stylish. Uh, okay. And no new weapon for you. So I don't think I can afford it. We'll go back in and check though at least. Agility plus one, eh? Hmm. 
I think his weapon was the missile pod thing, which was a little expensive. Yes. Yeah. We'll be alright. I think we've got some decent upgrades there. Oh, there's more. Uh, hello? You okay? <laughs> Ah, I must go and hear what I have to say for you to come all this way. <laughs> Very well, if you want, I'll tell you some juicy inside info. Sh sure. Jank. Phenomenal. First, tell me your email address. Okay. It's best to exchange valuable information by email. <laughs> No, it isn't. <laughs> Email is highly unsecure. <laughs> oh, I think I've just signed up for some sort of telemarketing thing, haven't I? <sighs> just, just a general rule, I think. It, never give your email address to someone who is just standing in a corner laughing like <laughs> over and over and over again. I get the feeling they may not be trustworthy. Second address two. Okay, that's all there is to do there. I I assume that's for a side quest or something. The only thing I do know about this is that there is some side quests that are like entirely over email. We start a few of them back on the Woglindy. No idea what's going to happen with those. But they're just like little things that just happen, I guess. Which is neat. Now let's check out the clinic. Luda used to live on Ariadne until just recently. But when the planet disappeared, she moved to the colony. Yeah, yeah, that, make, that 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 tracks. I mean, when your planet disappears, where else are you going to go? Her mother and father disappeared with the planet. So she lives with a doctor now. Well, that sounds not good. Poor little thing. Such a darling girl. She went through such an awful tragedy and now she can't talk. Doctor here is a quack, so he can't even cure her. <laughs> you sure you should be saying that out loud in front of the doctor? I'm sure it's fine. Who the heck are you guys? You need treatment? Take a seat and wait your turn. Oh, are you okay? You seem tired. I can treat you if you like. Not to worry, this is a hospital after all. I think I'm good. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. Yeah, we're good. Ah, Nuti, I guess. As described. Silent. Yes. I get the feeling she's going to be important for something later. Are you, are you kidding me? You, you really st... Okay. Uh, NPC pathfinding. Marvellous. Nothing even back here, anyway. One thing that's very eerie, I've just realised, is does this game actually have any background music? For, uh... Towns, dungeons, anything? Because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've actually heard any background music. Good for them.
Federation, scum. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Sure, we'll just go with it. You got nice ships. Maybe we should find that guy before. Oh, she, 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 God, it's terrible. It's terrible. In, in the thug. In the thug. The alleyway is... In in the thug, the alleyway is beat up all commander. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I'm alright. I can't understand you at all. C calm down a little and, you know, rearrange your words into a correct order. There's no time to calm down. Come on, hurry. Go on this way quickly. Don't you mean quickly come on this way? So are we about to see the commander go Super Saiyan or something? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, he literally did kill them all. Shion, we must get these people to a hospital at once. Oh, they're not dead. They're still alive, but barely hanging on. Uh, I'll, I'll go call an ambulance. We don't need an ambulance. The clinic is just down the road. Commander Cherenkov. I'm detecting a faint heat signature heading toward the dock. It most likely belongs to the commander. How did he sneak past us? We were going that way. That's enough. But, Commander! Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? I got cornered by some uh, street punks. But they started fighting amongst each other, so I ran away during the commotion. Sure. You got cornered? It, it's all right. It's really not that bad. That's not true. I've been trying to treat his injuries, but he won't let me. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not a big fan of nanosurgery. You prefer natural healing? He is not human, I'm guessing. That that's not what I mean. Momo, I need your help over here. I haven't had a tune-up since the battle on Proloma. Some of my parts may be a little worn out. Okay. All systems are working within their normal parameters. I'm behind on my regular maintenance. This body is getting pretty old. Not at all. But you know, you may be better off if Shion were to look you over. You may find this funny. But even with a body like this, I still feel uncomfortable about a young woman working on me. But there are plenty of human female doctors, aren't there? Well, I'm embarrassed of this patchwork mechanical body. I'm being silly, aren't I? But you're all right with me because I'm not human? That's not what I meant. It's just that I feel comfortable around you, but that's probably because... because of the purity of your heart. And not because I see you as an object. Thank you. I'm so glad. How I envy you. Huh? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's nothing. 
I wonder if the commander's really all right. <laughs> Ain't nothing all right about that guy. <laughs> Acting strangely ever since we boarded the Elsa. Ain't done a damn thing all right with that guy. <laughs> He's multiple levels of not all right. Maybe it's got something to do with that. When he basically almost died. Maybe he didn't come out of that unscathed. Oh, what is that symbol? I'm sure I've seen that symbol before somewhere, but I don't remember. Was it on the... Um... On the Zohar devices? Is that where I saw it? Okay, <laughs> now what?